Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to create an Arma 3 Wasteland server with an external database using TADST. There are a few tools we need for this which include TADST, XAMPP, Heidi SQL, PBO Manager and the mission and server files. A link for all of these can be found in the description below. First up, we need to get the Arma 3 server files. To do so, open Steam, hover over Library, click on Tools, find Arma 3 server, right click on it and click install game this will download and, and install the game if it isn't already in my case it is so I can go properties local files and browse local files this will take you to the root directory of your Arma 3 server files I'm gonna go ahead and copy all of these and put them in a folder on my desktop called a3 server Go ahead and download TADST and put it in with the folders you've just moved. In my case, I've already downloaded it. I'm just going to extract it, take the application and paste it in with the folders I just moved. Download the release files and drop these in the folder you created as well. These are the server files that support the mission file. These ones just here. A link for this page can be found in the video description. In my case, I've already downloaded them. Just going to open this, copy those, and paste them in this folder. Go ahead and download one of these three mission files, Altus, Tenor, or Stratus. This is the same page that I got the release files off, um, depending on which map you want to have your wasteland server on. In this case, I'm going to choose Altus. I already have Altus downloaded. It is just here. Go ahead and copy that. And place it in your MP missions folder. Once you've moved the mission file into the MP missions folder, if you don't already have a PBO managing tool, go ahead and download PBO Manager. Right click, click on New, and go Bohemia Interactive PBO. Now you want to name the PBO the exact same thing as the file, except without the minus dev. So Control C that and rename that folder. Then what you want to do is copy the entire contents of this folder, copy it. Open the PBO and paste it. Right, so all those folders are now in there. We can close this, delete that file, and the mission file is now done. Now, because we're having an external database, we need to go ahead and extract the contents of this folder. So we're just going to copy that. Oops. Paste it in here, replace the files, all good. Once those files have been moved, we can go ahead and download and install XAMPP. Have the installer in here, press yes. This will open the XAMPP installer. Next, uh, I'm not going to install this stuff just because we don't need it. Install it in your C drive root. Close that. Right, so now XAMPP is installing. We'll wait for this to finish. Whilst this is happening, you can go and download Heidi SQL. I already have it here. I'm going to run this at the same time. Click yes, next. I accept. Oh, yep, read all that stuff. And install that. I've already had it installed. Uh, next. All good. And we'll try the SQL. Right, so we just have to wait for this to finish installing now. You can go ahead and name your session if you want. Um, we're going to leave. Uh, we're going to leave this stuff alone. You can change that if you want. You can set a username and password. Go ahead and close that.
Now that XAMPP has finished installing, we want to launch it, press finish, English, and now what you want to do is you want to start MySQL. Once that's started, you can then close this. Now what we can do is open the folder that the server file is located in, double click on this A3 Wasteland DB v2.05, it's an SQL script, open it up, 127.0.0.1 and root, all good, press open, and then press this blue triangle in the top of the toolbar, this will create the database. If we refresh this now, we can now see that we have an A3 Wasteland database. This is the database for all the data in the server, although there's nothing in it yet. So, it's all empty. What we have to do now is, because we don't have a password set for the database, is go edit this file, so xdb.conf, and remove this password. Save that. Close it. Now we can go ahead and open up TADST and we can configure the server. So you can make this whatever you want. You can set a password, change the port. I'd recommend keeping it on that port. Change it to 32 players. Because it's Wasteland, we want persistent battlefield and auto initialization. No server logging, no headless client, we don't want to disable voiceover network. We have to assign the server file, so I click on this button, and this will open the folder uh, that we were just in. Double click on this Arma 3 server, that's this thing just here. Um, we're only setting up one server, so we'll keep the profile as default, and we'll save it afterwards. Turn tooltips off. Rules, we don't want people voting themselves admin or vote kicking people. So we'll turn that off. Uh, we want to kick duplicates and battle eye. You can set max ping, max desync, etc. I'm not going to do that with this server. Missions, because we've put the this folder in the MP missions folder, this will appear. So double click that and that's selecting the missions. There's no mods. You don't want to select any mods. Difficulty, you can change this stuff if you want. I'm going to leave it set to default, performance once again I'll leave it set to default and don't worry about this. Cool, save the preset, yes, and now we can launch the server. Once the server's launched, you can go check the errors in the server RPT log if you want, or if you are having any issues, you can see what they are by checking the RPT log. To do so, open the file that we made, go to tadst, default, and this is the login here. I'm not going to open it because it has some sensitive data on it, which I don't want to show you guys. So just right click, edit with Notepad++, and then uh, scroll down, you'll see what the server's doing when it's being set up. Right, so now the server's up, we can go check if it's writing to the database. Going to refresh and see it's made these tables in here. So we'll have a look at what they are. What's this? Okay, so it's set up the war chest money for blue four and op four. Set up the server map. And at the moment, no one's joined it, so there'll be no play info, but that'll all appear when I join. Once your server is fully loaded, go ahead and hop in game, go to server browser, click on LAN, and your server will appear here. For some reason it appears twice, I don't know why it does that, it just does. If you want your server to appear in the internet tab, uh, you need to go ahead and port forward the ports that you selected in TADST. Just remember you need to port the first port plus three higher, so in my case it was 2302, 2303, 2304, and 2305. That's four ports in total. Right, so now we're going to go ahead and join the server. And now uh, my player info or my player account will be created in the database. I've joined, I'll just join as op4, press OK. Now my client is receiving the mission file. We'll go and have a look at the 
data that's been generated in the database. Just right click, refresh, should go player info. Oh, it's not there yet. It should be there soon. Maybe after when I finish downloading the mission file. Client is initializing, now I've got the spawn menu. We'll just go random. My computer's trash, so this will take a while to preload the spawn. Right, so now we're in game, and as you can see, we've successfully made a Arma 3 server with TADST, which has an external database. So now all player will all player data will save to the database. Locked objects such as this barrier will save to the database, and owned vehicles will save to the database. Uh, it is inherent with this mission that unlocked vi uh, items won't save to the database. That's just how the mission file is. So if we go ahead and lock this object, and I'll show you how it appears in the database. So we've locked this object now. We'll go to HideSQL. Refresh, serve objects. Right, so here's the object object that we just locked down. There's only one object because obviously the server's just started. It is locked. There we go. Server vehicles. There's no bought vehicles on the server yet. And yeah, so thanks for watching this server setup tutorial. I hope you learned something. If you have a suggestion for another video or if you want to see a certain game server being set up, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. Also, if you have any problems or questions regarding this server setup tutorial, do leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.